okay, I'm gonna start overthinking this and I'll just go with it. Hey, I'm Lou and this is Us on this Stitch, where I like to talk about crochet, cross stitch, um, knitting, bead wave and sometimes sewing. I'm just learning and sewing. I'm not a pro, I'm just somebody that likes crafts and likes to talk about it. So today we are checking all my plans for the month of May. I call this Start, Stop and Continue. And as you may have guessed from the name, I'm going to show you the things I'm going to start, the things I'm going to stop doing, and the things I'm going to continue, which are the ones you probably are going to see most often on each video. I'm going to be showing you basically the progress, because usually I'm not going to finish them in one month. Alrighty, let's go! So, I work from home, and where I live, it basically it's hot all year long. So, in my office I have an air conditioner, but I'm kind of sensitive to temperatures, so in here I get really cold, and I need a sweater. I thought of course about buying it, but I wanted to practice my knitting. Knitting is the craft where I'm least good at, so I wanted to, I don't know, pick a project to do it. And on the stop section, you're gonna see the one that I tried and failed. But in here, I just wanted to work on a sweater and not a jacket. Like I want something comfy that is kind of blankety, that helps me go through the day of work. Of course, <laughs> so funny enough, on the stop section, you're gonna see the one I tried. And I'm not talking about the knitting project. I made a cardigan in crochet, but it didn't work, you're gonna see why. So in here, okay, let's go back to the sweater. I wanted a comfy sweater and I found the perfect one. Okay, so this one, oh my god, I fell in love with this sweater. I saw it in Instagram and this girl, anxious girl knits, made the perfect sweater for me. It's inspired on ice cream. I love ice cream. She calls it Get a Grip. And I'm gonna put it somewhere, I think here, um, so you can see it. So this Get a Grip sweater, this is the one I'm gonna make. You're gonna get to know me. I need to have something black in my clothes, like all the time. Usually it's all black, but I like a little bit of color. So I wanted to add color to this one. Everything is gonna make sense. With the project, I'm gonna frog. You're gonna see it. I'm gonna have this and this color really free for another project. I bought a lot of these, like four of each, five of each, to make that project. So I wanted to use these for this sweater. The thing is that the pattern calls for three colors. I just thought I'm gonna ignore one and just keep going and do it with these two. But I wanted to add another one. I just don't think they're gonna combine well. So I have this one, I have this pink, I have this purple, which may work, honestly, and I have this blue, so yeah, I'm not sure, but it is gonna have the black. Probably, maybe we can change the green, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so the next start is gonna be a crochet or knitted needle case. Yeah, I'm still not sure if it's gonna be knitted or crocheted. I just know that I want a needle case. Like, I have all my needles everywhere all the time. You're gonna see that I need places to take my things. <laughs> but it may be that. Um, I need a project for this beautiful yarn. Let me, let me take it. So this is the yarn. It is so beautiful. It's... Let me see. This is Sylvia Gold Peruvian Fibers. This is Sylvia Cancas. I hope you can see it there. This is 85 Tanguis, tanguis Cotton and 50% Alpaca. Baby. Alpaca baby. Alrighty. So I love this yarn. And when I bought it, I just wanted to order kind of one of each that I liked. It was like five of different brands and weights because we don't have big shops like Michael's or Joann's, I think it's called. We have just normal people with little stores and I love to order from them. 
but it's everything online. So this one is not that cheap, but I want to use it for something. I don't want to have to buy like five of these to make a project. So I wanted to use it for a small project, which is in the stop one because I failed. <laughs> You're gonna see that I change my mind really often and maybe I'll go in depth of why I do that but later. So for now, I just need a project for this. I thought about crochet but if I do it in crochet, it means that it's gonna take a lot of yarn. So I was thinking on oh, knitting like, and if I make it in knitting, it's gonna help me to practice for the sweater because the sweater is gonna be a big project. And I think it's just stuck in a stitch, the sweater. So it may be easier and I may use the same stitch on this one just to practice. To make something that is like a small but not a garment. A garment takes a lot of work and patience. I don't have patience <laughs> as you're gonna see. Okay, so the last one is going to be a Triforce Beadwave. Um, I really like to work with Beadwave especially Miyuki Delicas, I think it's called. So in April, last month, I was helping my mom and dad with a wholesale order. They have their own store for beautiful beaded necklaces. And somebody requested a little bit of a big order, around 24 bracelets, where half of those were made with Miyuki Delica. And they don't work with that. So I teached them, which was really cool. But I'm, okay, I'm derailing here. The thing is, it has been a lot of time since I actually worked with beads. I love it, but I stopped doing it a while ago. And basically in here, it was like a marathon. I made 12 and I made the half of it. So my dad could finish them off. It was a teamwork. And I remember how much I love bead waving with these beads. So let me get them. Okay, so these are the beads. Of course, I have a bunch of colors, but these are Delica, Miyuki Delica, um, here. <laughs> and I was thinking of making a Triforce. I made this design a couple of weeks ago and it will be nice to have a new stitch marker for the new projects that I have this month. So that's it. I hope I can get to it. <laughs> the stop section. Alrighty, so for the stop section, so I talked about this a little bit in the previous section and let me show you. So let's start with the small one. The first one is with this yarn that I just mentioned and I tried to do a sock. <laughs> and I laugh because, I mean, I don't have... I don't have the needles for this. Like, let me show you. This is just so fun. Like, you can see here, like I tried and I did a couple of rows and I, I tried to do this travel thing where you just use this really long circular needle and just make it work. And I got a little bit the hang of it, but the issue is my tension. So. Basically, there was a point where the stitches wouldn't just go through the needle. Like, they're so tight. And I'm not sure if it's this yarn. I think the yarn, it's a little bit, mm, I don't know, it's not stretchy enough for somebody new to work with it. So yeah, I think that's why I wanted to do something else with this. Like, as you can see, this project is not very far. Like, it's just a couple of rows. And I wanted to do something with it. So maybe later, when I do the full sweater, I can try socks again. I don't know. I'm really just better at working like in line. Like in crochet, I can do a lot of things, but with knitting, I haven't been able to work in the round. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> the other one. Oh my god. So, wait. Okay. So this one. So this was my first attempt of doing that sweater for this room. Let me get that. Oh. Alright. This sweater is really big. The idea was actually to do something like this. 
I was using the Out Knots blanket cardigan pattern which I was gonna do a review on the pattern but to be honest I didn't like it so so I didn't want to make a negative review especially being the first review that I could make for a pattern so yeah I won't but the pattern didn't have a gauge it didn't have measurements the measurements were like measure how long do you want it <laughs> and it was my first garment in crochet so probably it's not the best for somebody that is starting I'm gonna show you how it looks here <laughs> like, it's really funny how it looks like, it's way too big to use I try to use it um, like while I work but I just I didn't like it like the stitch is fine but I don't know like in here for example I like when a when a cardigan gets like more to the center since the arms are so long it kind of falls into the shoulders and it's not that easy to kind of do this <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna frog it it's sad like it took me kind of a whole year to make it so it's really sad that I, it doesn't fit but the cool thing about this is that at the end I was like oh okay I know I'm not gonna like it but I wanted to finish it and the board that says in the pattern I, I didn't like it like it was really normal so I started looking for pom-pom stitch and I found it and I made like three because pom-pom stitch is not kind of your normal stitch like everybody does it in a different way and I didn't like any <laughs> like I tried um, so I made my, my own probably you can see it there I may make a tutorial on how I did this if I remember <laughs> when I frog it I can remember how I made it like, I don't write patterns so of course I didn't write this one because I didn't thought I was gonna I don't know show it to anyone but when I finished it I was like hmm I want to and I am as you can see on a I don't know on a strike of showing the things my Instagram was created like last month I have been creating Instagrams for my things since a lot of years ago but I don't know I kind of tend to stop doing things this is kind of the reason why I'm doing this YouTube channel because I want to do my things like I want to stop just opening Instagram and then closing it because I didn't like it no let's just let's just do it <laughs> okay I'm rambling I'm sorry so I have to frog this and the idea of this is actually using it for the get a grip sweater let me put this here just a random thing I got this if you follow me on Instagram you you may have seen this I bought it especially because, okay, we need one of these. This is my first yarn winder and as you can see in the back, I have been winding some of the yarn that I have but this was bought specifically for that cardigan. I am not gonna throw that and then wind it in my hands. So I have this body right here. And the last category is continue. So let me show you the things I'm working on and that I have to continue because they are not close to being finished. So this is the first one. Let me let me just show you how it's supposed to look. So this is how it's supposed to look. And last year I actually made it full. I finished it. Oh, this is how it looked. Um I finished it, but like I said, in here we don't have big shops and in here, you cannot find a black Ada fabric. Let me repeat that. You cannot find a black Ada fabric. And as you can see, I love black. <laughs> and I didn't like it because I had to actually take the white fabric that I had and dye it. And I think I used the wrong dye because as you can see, it's just gray. It's not black. And when I finished it, this fabric was already so 
weird to the touch like of course it wasn't as good as it was before I tied it and I don't know it just felt wrong and then I don't know what happened but I kind of organized it in the back like like I made this and then use a glue gun um, but without a hook I don't know what happened I, I maybe I, I just had a rough day a week or a month I don't know but it looked bad <laughs> like really bad I don't think I took a picture of it and I I threw it away like I said probably I was having a bad month last year I was really sick so I'm good now but probably it was just a bad day on a lot that I had. Anyways, so where my sister lives, there they have Michaels and Jones and all of the things. And they also have Amazon Prime. <laughs> I don't. So she bought me this black Ada fabric. I have a bunch. Not a bunch, like 10. And you know, 10 is not enough for us. So I'm starting again. So in here, here you can see it's. I have a long way to go, <laughs> but we can make it. I can make it. It's gonna be fine. I'm fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> That's one. So the next one, it's this one. You know, when you are doing embroidery, you use linen fabric, I think. And this fabric, it's kind of a Neda fabric. It has like the dots where you can just pass your needle and I don't know, making an Neda. I'm not gonna keep mentioning that in here we don't get other fabrics, but yeah. So I had to be creative. And I took this embroidery fabric and I took it as if it was a Neda and I started cross stitching in it. So, here is the pattern that I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make a snitch and it was supposed to be a big one but then I saw this and I started making it really really small. So of course you cannot see, see it here because it, I just started it. Let me just put it in here so you can see the pattern and compare a little bit. So yeah, um, I want to keep doing it. Like this pattern is so beautiful and it's it's gonna be so cute i also bought some hoop decorated hoops this one for example is so pretty i mean i know i know you've seen it everywhere but in here again it's not that easy to find and i bought like four for i don't know for palm projects at some point and can you imagine this little snitch in in this hoop I'm it's gonna be so pretty and in this wall like white I don't know it's gonna be too cute and the last continuum is actually one that is almost finished it's a punch needle I've been doing punch needle for a while now I've been doing just coasters this one is the is the one you see in my profile picture right now hopefully I love it this is my design and, and I made it a while ago I would like to make I don't know a tutorial about this or uh, make it with me because it was really fun and it was made with floss actually with BMC floss or BMC thread for cross stitching or embroidery it was my first time doing punch needle and I didn't know you had to make it with actual yarn so um, where was I? yes so this is the one I'm making let me show you it's so pretty I really like it and I wanted this to be something for my wall like a frame picture what I have to make in here is just <laughs> what I have to make here is just paste this in the back with a glue gun then put in a backing I bought some and just put something in here to be hanged to the wall that's it it's not much and it has been in here like 
six months like I had to make these six months ago but I think I have the time now so that's it I don't know when I am expecting to do all this with my daily job like if you're an adult and you have a job or you do this as your job you know that we are tired all the time so I'm, I'm still not sure how I'm gonna make all this but I'm hoping that actually these videos are kind of an accountability to me to be able to finish all my projects and maybe do more because I really love it. I saw this quote some days ago that it says that if you are stressed it's not because you have a lot of things to do, it's because you don't do enough things that fill your heart or your soul or something like that and that has stuck with me daily. So yeah, I hope you join me next time where I'm gonna show you hopefully how I'm doing with this and the other webs I'm gonna <laughs> be making because this is gonna be a continuous thing. I I promise. I I want to do this. Like, I have been thinking of creating a YouTube channel for years now. And with the pandemic and with being sick, it was really difficult but I think now I am in a spot where I can do it. Um and it helps me practicing my English as well. I think also it's kind of obvious that English is not my first language. I don't live in the US. So this also helps me. I, I really like the English language. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and maybe go and do some crafts. <laughs> I'm also making another video of the things that I actually made on April's and I hope you see it too. That's it. That's it on this awkward first YouTube video. I hope you like it. Um, I hope you come with me in this YouTube adventure and in this crafting adventure. And yeah, I see you later. So keep on crafting. Bye.